Hi Gemini, welcome to your Love Tarot reading. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. This is gonna be a general reading for Gemini, uh, Sun, Rising, Moon, or Venus. Gemini, if you vibe with my videos, I would totally appreciate it if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, comment below, like my video. You know the drill. If you don't want to, it's okay as well. This is gonna be a reading for you and your person. Whatever that means to you, could be a new relationship, situationship, love situation, whatever that means to you, Gemini. Let's take a look at your situation. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Wow, okay. There's some uncertainty in your love situation with you and your person at the moment. Someone isn't quite clear on what's going on, the high priestess, and someone has deep running, deep, like deep, deep um, feelings about this. I feel like you want to be, you really, Gemini, wow, like I feel like you really want to reunite with your person. You're not together at the moment. Uh, whether it's a breakup or, you know, someone ghosted someone a little bit or it just isn't communicating at the moment, I feel like that is like the situation here. I feel like the last conversation you had uh, was a King of Swords situation. Someone was super harsh. Someone was critical. Someone may have said things that they didn't mean. Someone was judging you. I feel like it was your person. Maybe it was you or both of you. And um, someone wants to communicate at the moment, but they're a little bit shy about it. They're taking like they're taking a little while. But definitely there's communication coming in right now as it stands. I feel like there's uncertainty about what's going to happen. You're not in communication. You are estranged. Maybe, yeah, maybe someone's just not texted you back or something. I feel like it's your person. Let's see why. Okay, uh, what are your person's feelings about this situation? Then we'll get more clarity on this King of Swords and who said what. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Nine of Wands. This person feels burdened by the situation right now with you. Uh, two of Wands. They want to break new ground in the sense that they want to go on an adventure. They, they want to reach another level here. And they're also trying to get wisdom. They're trying to get wise on how to handle the situation. And they might also... They might be trying to get away with something or spying on you or they're not 100% honest. Hmm. Which is why you feel in this high priestess that you don't really know what's going on but you really want to reunite with them. And I wonder why. You know, this King of Swords energy here also indicates that there was, there may have been a cutting off but someone is regretting that. It's like your person regrets that they want to communicate again. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at your feelings and we'll clarify what happened between you. Yeah, your person's just feeling a little shady to me at the moment, Gemini. Doesn't mean that they're up to no good. They're just like in the shady. Yeah, Gemini, you're very honest in this. Yeah, your feelings here. Two of Cups, okay. Ten of Swords and Five of Cups. So you have this honest to God love for this person. You feel like they're your soulmate. And you've been through some pain here in this relationship you feel like there was an ending and it left you like completely debil debilitated in some some ways maybe some of you had to lie in your bed and cry you know maybe you just like you just felt like completely deflated this could have could very well have been a breakup this could have been an argument that resulted in a silent treatment a ghosting something like that and five of cups you're very very disappointed and I feel in a way also you're kind of disappointed because you feel like, I feel like this is your person, the King of Swords now, you know, like this King of Swords, they brought all these swords down on you and you feel like maybe, just maybe, you saw their true face a little bit, you know, something came to light about this person, Seven of Swords, they're like a sneaky person, maybe they have some spying energy, they're just, I'm not getting any cups in terms of their feelings. Maybe they're a little dead inside. Let's um, clarify the situation now. You know, why the Seven of Swords here? Why does your person have the Seven of Swords? 
The sun. Mmm. The sun. Seven swords of sun. Are they hiding from us? Let's clarify that too. Ah, five of pentacles. Yeah, your person. I'm getting some weird people. Like, people's people today are just a little. Mm. Okay, seven. So, the seven of swords clarified by the sun. It's like. You know, Seven of Swords is doing things surreptitiously, spying, going into enemy camp, sometimes theft, because this person is stealing swords. But it's, you know, swords here are thoughts and information. This person wants to shed, like, light on something in this situation. They want to shed light on the situation because they... They want to leave this relationship or they want you to leave. For some of you in a stable relationship, it could be that, yeah, like this person, wow, this is kind of bad energy, you know? Like for some of you, you're in a relationship or a marriage where your person is spying on you because they're gathering evidence against you for the divorce, the five of pentacles. You don't, you may not even know about this. And, you know, you feel like the energies between you have changed and, you know, five of cups, you're very disappointed. For some of you, like that person came in, King of Swords, in, in longer term relationships, someone came in and it was like a little bit unexpected too. They were like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be with you anymore. Hmm. But maybe, maybe they regretted it. If it's like a newer kind of relationship, if it's a newer kind of relationship, this person regrets doing it. If, if you're kind of just dating, you had some kind of an argument. You had some kind of an argument. And this person kind of regrets that. Let's see what their true God honest intentions are. Three of Cups. Yeah. For some of you, you will still reunite and you will uh, have celebrations together. It's a bit of a complicated... Yeah, the feeling... You feel betrayed by this person... What are their God honest intentions towards you, Gemini? The Emperor. The Emperor and then the Eight of Swords came out. They want to be an authoritarian energy. Emperor, you know, disregard the gender. This is just arbitrary. This is an authoritarian person who wants to have things their own way and they're not above gaslighting people. You're going to gaslight, lie. They hurt you profoundly. This person hurt you profoundly. And it's like they always, I feel like with the seven of swords here and the sun, they almost, they always had a plan to leave almost. Like they weren't stable. It could be for a new dating relationship. It could be that they were just a player or they were using you for ego, for clout, for something. Like they were just using you. They were always going to leave. But you fell in love with this person, two of cups. Hmm. Yeah, the Son of and the Seven of Swords. They really don't want to be discovered. Uh, what's this person's next action towards Gemini? I'm sorry, Gemini. Oh, but they're coming in. They want to, yeah, so they want to reconcile. Who are you with, Gemini? Who is, like, what is the problem here? Okay, let me just clarify something here. Why was Gemini disappointed? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Not enough. This person is coming in strong with the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. They want to reconcile. They want to, like, get back to being together. Like, these energies, they, they want to, you know, Queen of Cups is feelings. Uh, King of Wands is um, action. They're both mature in my mind, body, and soul. They're coming in with you know a mature action, a mature proposal. It's feelings and actions, and they're giving you the Six of Pentacles. So they want to share feelings. They want to concretely as well share a foundation. You know, money. But they might also want to come in because they want you to beg them 
they want you to beg them for their love or their forgiveness it's like i feel like the seven of swords the seven of swords it's like this person feels burdened nine of wands they feel burdened but they want to draw like they want things to come to fruition in this relationship so they in terms of their actions they're gonna return they're gonna return okay i'm getting something here that like one storyline here is you guys need to be careful because this person feels burdened by this relationship they're fake seven of swords they don't want to be seen in the light of day because they're up to no good because they're going to either escape this relationship or cash you out so for for you people my beautiful people my beautiful gemini out there you think that's your storyline when this person comes back in they're going to come in if you're not speaking at the moment they're going to come in their next action is they're, they're going to want to revive this relationship but be careful because in this sense the six of pentacles could be evil this could be someone who's in this relationship for money and they're coming for your money they want you to share more money with them they want to use you financially and then at the back of their mind constantly in the background they want to they want to escape this relationship or cast you out they, they want to take you for a ride basically with some of you other uh other gemini let me just clarify this because i feel like this person feels like you owe them an apology and that's why they behaved so badly towards you maybe they were confused by what you were doing maybe they think you were kind of doing something underhanded gemini let's see clarify we are wheel of fortune lovers choices yeah this person okay that's clear now i'm just gonna clarify the high priestess now what is she doing yeah she wasn't doing anything bad five of swords there's an argument between you definitely here with the king of swords and the five of wands Hold up with the high priestess they might feel you know your person so either either you have a relationship where there's some kind of using you know and energies can be a little twisted here you know it can be either or energy you and your person it's interchangeable they're either a user they want to use you for money or they want to use you for something you know they maybe even like it could be use you for sex or use you for clout or use you just because they're bored they're good they're gonna use you and the reason why you separated is because they just you know they're not that into the relationship unfortunately and sometimes they get snappy and then they regretted it here with the page of pentacles because they want to get something out of you so they're going to come back and like present everything like everything's amazing they're gonna like make all the right moves say the right things but what they're really after is just you know something from you just to use you they want to use you but for some other other people here your person thought that in this high priestess you gemini were up to no good you you were doing something maybe going maybe you went out or you did something and this person this king of swords who's like super authoritarian like they were watching you you know maybe you're like posting stuff on social media that's a little risque like whatever it was they got jealous and they thought that you were up to four of wands you know like going out um having fun maybe you're a little close with some of your friends and it looked like you were making be making foundations like home foundation was with someone else they just got jealous of you having fun a little bit or they just saw you do something that that was innocent to you but to them seemed like you were kind of sneaking off in the night going underground doing something you know on the down low and what they're gonna do and yeah and then so they were spying on you that's the thing here you know seven swords spy card they were they were spying because they wanted to illuminate to themselves whether you know they should stay or leave this relationship five of pentacles because their heart was hurting they wanted to prevent this abandonment they didn't want to be abandoned by you but they felt abandoned because they thought you were doing something weird okay and this could be 
very much an older relationship or a new relationship you know just like someone you met you had a few dates with them and they were like spying on you because they don't want to get hurt they might have abandonment issues or they're like super like quick to abandon things that might hurt them they're just very defensive they have a past of being hurt in relationships so they want to know you know which way to go do i invest in this or not it's and they're burdened by this decision but they they want to bring it like they want to bring it in and you guys had an argument about this or someone they cut or, or they cut you off and they regret it they they want to send you a message Oops, page of pentacles ah my nervous energy and uh card jumpers um page of pentacles they regret it but they're uh, they're scared to send you that message because they don't know what's going to happen. And then in this scenario, this person with uh, the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands, like they're super genuine. They do want to make up and they, they're begging you for forgiveness now, you know, with this the Page of Pentacles little message. This is on their mind. They're going to send it. And Six of Pentacles here that will come to fruition with all these pentacles, um, you know, here you're holding all the pentacles. This person's begging your forgiveness. Because they want that pentacle close to their heart. And th then you have the Wheel of Fortune here clarifying that. You know, the Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. They want to turn their for fortune around. They want to get back to the lovers. They want you to choose them. And they want to they want to choose you again. They want you to choose them. They want to change their fortune. Because they really regret what happened. They regret what they said. And they regret their suspicions. Or maybe they still bear a grudge against you. Maybe they still have their, their suspicions. But they want to, you know, they want to work it out. Because they want you. They want you. And you were so hurt. Like, you know, this person hurt you. Because you thought everything was going right. And they were just, like, spying on your social media, basically. Or spying on you. Or you went out with someone. And they thought it was a date when it wasn't. Or, you know, that kind of situation. Hmm. Huh. what's the uh, advice for Gemini but they're coming in they're coming in strong that's for sure what is the advice for Gemini what's the advice for Gemini so if you're worried about this person not coming in not sending that message they will they will for cups oh, oh. oh my god king of swords king of swords again Eight of Wands. Yeah, the King <laughs> Four of Cups. In this deck, it's indifferent. The King of Swords uh, rejected your cup of love. Because, again, this is, is this guy, right? King of Swords rejected your cup of love because they had their suspicions. He, you know, this one here, there's like an eagle uh, on their arm, you know, that eagle can soar. The eagle can see things. Uh, the sword is communication. It's thoughts. It's um, creativity as well. This is someone has a vision. This is a visionary. The, the, and they see things too. Like a spy. This is so like seven of swords. Like such strong spy energy. This person rejected your cup of love. Because they were spying. And they were seeing things. They were seeing things that they made up a story about. They were seeing things that were not quite as they really were maybe for some of you they were maybe some of you did do stuff that was unacceptable or, or whatever it was but this is someone who just cannot get enough and a message is coming a message is coming from this person um and it's a positive message it's a it's a message of you know it's movement they, they want to move along I think they themselves want to turn their back on the past with this too. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to journey together if you accept this person coming back in. If you accept this person coming back in. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. Mm, the Moon. Yeah, you're like the High Priestess, the Moon. You're kind of Angel of Dreams, the Moon. You're, you're really, <laughs> you can't sleep at night because you feel bad about the situation too. You wish you could have explained yourself, but you're not speaking at the moment. For many of you, you're not speaking. For some of you, you might be, but it won't be like cathartic, you know, like that's coming. Or maybe some of you have started to 
have started to work things out. You're not sleeping. You're a little bit, you know, feeling defeated. You're not sleeping. You know, here you have eight of cups for you. Like, you're, you're feeling like this isn't enough. Like, the situation isn't enough. Like, you need to keep looking. Some of you may have even given up on this relationship because you think this person will never forgive you. And you've, you're kind of trying to find, um, find the love within yourself or even find love with other people. But the moon here clarifies the eight of wands. You know, you're you're worried. You can't sleep at night. You you wish things were different. You want to change things. You want to turn back the clock. Um, sleep soundly. Just just have faith that everything will be okay. Mm. The moon can be a tricky card, but in this card, there's these two beautiful dogs. They're 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 protecting you here. You know, this little. A person or angel they're sleeping on the moon the moon is lifting them up feminine energy is um, looking out for you the divine feminine the divine feminine is watching over you the divine mother you are protected you will be safe and you will be okay your, your heart will be protected if if you wish to work things out with this person there will be an opportunity opportunity to do so this person will come in it may take them a while it may take them a while. I don't know how long. Uh, and, and for many of you, it will be different. But it won't be... It won't be years. Or months. Maybe for some. But it won't be years. It will be... But it won't be so quick. You know? Uh, and the hours will seem like days. And the days will seem like years. But it, this situation, it can be resolved. You guys just need to really talk about what happened and you, you need to clarify the situation because this person is going to keep trying because they do actually love you queen of cups they really love you and they don't want to be without you but they were really hurt and maybe even kind of crazy angry about the situation because they felt betrayed by you and then you felt betrayed by them because they rejected you or they blocked you something like that Wow, Gemini, I wish you all the best in the situation. If this resonates with you, tell me your story below. I, I love to uh, hear from you guys, hear your stories. Um, take care of yourself, Gemini. I wish you all the best and may the angels protect you.